You hear a lot about TMJ problems, pain, clicking, locking. But if you're a dentist looking to treat TMD patients or you're a TMD patient yourself, do you even know what a normal TMJ actually looks like? What should a healthy joint feel like, move like, and function like? That's what this video is about. The temporomandibular joint, or TMJ, connects the mandible to the skull. And this is what most people, including dentists, don't think about. The lower jaw, the mandible, is hanging loose in space and held by muscles and ligaments in its position. This is one of the many unique features and challenges of this particular joint. The other thing nobody thinks about, again, including dentists, what makes it stop or position itself in space? Teeth. And this is going to become very, very important in upcoming videos, so please remember this. But let's get back to the basics for a second, because we will get deep and detailed later on. But here's the other characteristic that makes the TMJ so unique. The TMJ is a hinge and a sliding joint, meaning it allows both rotation and forward movement. Now really think about the complexity of this. A joint being able to not only rotate, but also translate in space. That is just so complicated. And the best part is that the TMJ does this. Well, hang on. At least a normal TMJ, normal healthy TMJ, does this by moving smoothly without noise, pain, or restriction. And inside the joint, the disc sits between the condyle and the skull acting like a cushion. In a normal TMJ, that disc stays in place as you open and close your mouth, preventing bone-on-bone -bone contact and allowing smooth function. When everything's working correctly, you should be able to open your mouth comfortably, move your jaw side to side and forward without pain or shifting, chew, talk, and yawn without clicking, popping, or locking, and feel balanced pressure when your teeth come together. So many of you are thinking, what? I can't do that. I can't move my jaw or chew without pain or open wide or eat food without pain or clicking. And my dentist told me that's normal. Well, it's not. It's not only not normal, it can become incredibly debilitating if left untreated. In the next videos, we'll explore what happens when things go wrong, what causes clicking, pain, and dysfunction, and how to restore balance to the TMJ. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.